guys now you will see my video where i'm talking about figma and bubble and working together with two of these applications but why is it important why we're we talking about working in figma before bubble why you just can just start working in bubble and program right there just because designs design elements consistency it's, it's nowadays it's it's really really important you can get, have a successful app without good design uh, it's the, it's the truth that we face today. You need to have good design, you need to have a uh, smooth working app, you need to have good, uh, good looking elements, so your users will like what they see, and they will use it, uh, and they will like to use it, you know? So I think the one of the ways to make your app look cool, looks nice, is to start working in Figma, lay your design out, choose your elements, fonts, other, and then move to Bubble. So, let's start. I start always working in Figma before moving to Bubble. So, I have pre-designed system and then I move the system to Bubble. All my styles, all my variables and colors. Why it is cool? Because uh, you can have a, a, like view from the top on your design you set all your elements together, you set your fonts, you set your, you set your styles, you like what you see, and then you just start in like programming, you know? Just start working in Bubble, all these margins, paddings, and all the stuff. So you, first part of the work, you just make creative uh, decisions, uh, play with ideas and other stuff. And second part of the work, you're just programming, you uh, all in uh, to, to make your app work correctly and uh, be responsive and uh, uh, all this uh, thing. So I'm um, separating part one and part two of uh, my building app building uh, process. So uh, what we will cover today: create beautiful, consistent design using Figma, uh, prototype and generate ideas before before building. So you play, you see how others do this, you, insp you get inspired, you generate something for your app, you set your layout, you set your styles. And then you move to, as I mentioned, to move to Bubble. Uh, you prepare uh, like th uh, through this process um, from uh, from one app to another. You will create your styles, your designs, your di your um, uh, like design sets of your favorite icons, favorite colors, favorite fonts, and you will have your like design design base, so you can use from app to app, and you just like form your own branding. So, for example, if you have some uh, bubble consultant services or you work as an agency you can leverage this um this way of working to make your own style to, to keep your style consistent to be um, so the people will know that this app is made by you and uh, not 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 the other but the bubble developers it's, it's uh, actually i think if you if you find um, like good good bubble agencies you will see that their style is always consistent always on um, like colors fonts from app to app it's almost the same and you can build faster because when you have like your design elements laid down you you can move really really fast because all you you all have everything you have your colors you have you have styles you just go and program it yeah so you just lay one page from an, uh, to another to another like till the end so you all in on this workflows tab all uh, uh, on the backend workflows so you just thinking like programmer not like a designer you know so um okay i'm close this my presentation we will so i was working on this crm um uh, i will show you so i have my CRM that I was playing playing around with. You see this design is, is finished. It's cons consistent. Why it's like this? Let me explain. We go to this page and you see these three elements. Typography, color and UI elements. You see here I have a size of my font i have the mm, like semi bold bold type and i have the 
uh, size and pixels and you can see my font name. It's inter. You see my colors. You divide your primary color, secondary color, additional colors. You set your dark color, dark gray and white. You set your faded colors for buttons. You also choose your icon color, line color, and uh, yeah, you can different line color. For example, one for, for more like grayish and one for lighter. And you also choose and create your elements. Guys, I will share this Figma file for you uh, in the descri description so you can see in details what is this and play around with it or use for your own. Actually, the main thing to create is choose your fonts from the beginning and set all these variables, all these font styles from H1 to H5 to your style settings in the bubble. I will show you it right now. And the second thing I think is choose your colors, uh, primary, secondary, plus faded colors, plus the um, alert and uh, um, alert and all the um, sign elements colors. And also choose your line color from the beginning. So you set also to, uh, uh, you bring it to, to style variables in Bubble. Uh, this one is really important too. But the main thing is choose your button. How it, how it will look like and keep it size of the button font font size font color the same from one page to another is the main with inputs with uh, form tabs uh, with tabs with form styles you can play around you can change them you know, size sizing you can like one form can have small size in the second the 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 bigger form like uh, large size in or on or medium one i will i will leave this uh, file uh, with these elements of uh, figma file in the description so you can download so we have the style variables we have using the style variables we set this crm page or like the page view app uh, you can do this like this with elements or or you can uh, for example choose your style guides then generate ideas uh, i will show you how i generate ideas in a second just using different websites find what you like what you want to um, what you, what you inspired by and then you you have layout like this you know and you will just implement your style variables to this layout and create your own app for example, to get inspired, I I, uh, I can recommend using Dribble. It's super super useful uh, uh, website for designers. You just, uh, for example, uh, write your app. You want to build CRM. I want to build like CRM app, and what you and what you notice is super super nice, super mm, like high professional. Uh, layouts, uh, designs uh, all over here. So you just choose one, get inspired, uh, like write down some ideas for you, and use it. And use it for your for your like for your own app. Just fonts, layouts, colors, uh, shadows, and all, uh, uh, other stuff. Also, I need to mention that you also when you create, for example, button or menu element, you also you set your, for example, menu background on hover, you know, or just the shadow and keep this one sh shadow shadow style uh, the same through the app. So everything is, you choose it once and use it everywhere in the app. If you, know, if you need shadow, you use one type of shadow or like different type, two, three types of uh, shadow style, but not more because it will be messy, you know, if you, if you have like 10 shadow styles with different colors through the app, it's, it's not consistent, it's like, you know, the mess, it's not really, it's, it's not looks cool. So, this website is cool to get inspired by. Um, let me jump to Bubble and I will show you something. So, for example, what you, what you, what you do when you 
set that your Figma styles in Figma, you have like basic uh, layout of your page, you know what you want to build, you have your like map, what you're gonna, gonna uh, what you're going to build. We in part two, I will we will build app from the beginning using Figma, using my style guides. I will uh, build a page for you. But in this part, we just setting things down. We preparing for for everything. So we have my uh, our style guides. We go to style tab and style variables. Uh, firstly, I need to mention that Bubble just added font variables for uh, for Bubble and more uh, color variables. So you can ch uh, uh, create different font variables to use through, uh, through, the, uh, through the app. So I recommend if you have different uh, fonts, uh, for example, custom font for your app, create font variable for your, for your font. You choose font name. You choose description. It just you can create write whatever you want and you choose font here if you don't have the font I will leave this website so it's custom font uh, pass generator you just upload your font file here for example Gilroy Black it's my font You generate CSS file pass. You just using this file pass to put it. Um, accidentally close it. So just hold, go to styles, uh, style variables. Uh, no, I need to upload font first, yes. So we just go here. Um, let me find... Uh, yes, okay. So uh, here is imp is important your font name and also your like type of font, black, semi-bold or, uh, or, uh, or other. And you put here uh, your link that you copied from this website. I will leave everything in the description so you can, so you can use it for your own. You add font. The main thing is this color step. Uh, you will have, in the beginning, you will have some predefined colors for you to use. I recommend from the beginning choose your colors from Figma file. The colors you set up, like primary, secondary, faded, additional colors, all this. It's nice that you will uh, you will choose here all the predefined co uh, colors, like surface, background, and destructive success, and all the uh, and other. And you also can create your own colors. For example, some faded colors, you know, is just faded primary. In the description, you can specify, for example, it's color for my main elements on hover. You know, just it will be faded, so you can use it, and you can understand. And you and maybe other Bubble developers that is working on your app. So you just create faded primary faded color. You just, for example, choose something. So it's the main. It's the main thing. We created our style guides, then we moved to bubble. We used using our style variables here. We set our colors, we changed here. We set our, our fonts using this font generator. Uh, we created our font variables. Before, if you, if you have custom fonts, you add it here with this link, this font name. And you ready to go. You have all your styles set up and ready. So you just kind of move to part two 
so uh, where we, we built page from the beginning so i will show you how how i'm uh, leveraging this this type of working in bubble thanks for watching see you in the part two bye